Joining us first tonight, an underage prostitution ring is discovered, and deputies say a school bus monitor was the ringleader making girls perform for clients. And in a disturbing twist, investigators say one of his customers was a local police officer who showed up on the job and in uniform. Our Rebecca Medina joins us now with how the pair was finally caught. Good evening, Rebecca. Good evening, Wendy. Winter Haven police were working on a missing persons case and got a tip about this prostitution ring. The domino effect after that ended in two public servants behind bars. He's been employed, was employed with the Haines City Police Department from 12 17 07 until about 5 30 this morning. When three Polk County law enforcement agencies acted on a tip that brought down a prostitution ring. We've now been able to take a corrupt police officer off the street. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd told a room full of reporters Demetrius Condry, a Haines City police officer, was paying to have sex with girls as young as 15. He said the person arranging the sex between July of 2009 and February 2010 was 27 year old Paul Aaron. And get this, he was a Polk County school bus monitor. Paul was ordering. For a 14 or 15 year old girl at the time, he was dealing with 14 and 15 year old girls who were turning tricks for him, ordered her to have sex with Demetrius. There are two underage victims so far, and investigators say they found a third girl Aaron attempted to recruit while working his bus route. The alleged pimp named his so called business Genuine Quality Entertainment. Investigators said he recruited runaways and offered them an opportunity to dance, but instead had them turning tricks for money they never saw. Paul Aaron made them stay at the house, fed them Raymond noodles, wouldn't let them leave unless, of course, he was going to take them to a club to dance or to turn tricks. With men like Officer Condry. Investigators said Condry had a 15 year old perform oral sex on him while in uniform, and the victim was always afraid because he'd take off his gun belt and lay it down within arm's reach. He's gone to jail and um, he won't be coming back, and um, hopefully, that's the end of it. And this investigation is far from over. The sheriff said they expect more arrests and more charges here in the near future.